A lot of people talk about the atmosphere of the race itself and it's true, it's not like any other marathon. You've got people along the whole route who just come out and say hello and shout and wave and go, come on, come on, come on. And particularly around that 19, 20 mile mark where everyone's just going, I've had enough of this. Why are we doing this again? And your legs just go, doink. Ultra selfie, look at this ultra yeah, selfie. Yeah, yeah. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking about doing it, but I didn't have a charity in mind. And then I spoke to Paul, who's the big chief at the Taverners, and he said, well, why don't you do it for us? And I went, okay, well, let's do that then. Because um, I've done little bits for the Lord's Taverners. I played a few matches for them. I went on the million pound drop. So it's a real honor actually to be part of the Taverners and to be a Taverner. There's a load of people that don't know the extent of the good work that, that the Taverners do. So that's really why I wanted to put my name to it this year. Tempting fate when I say this. I feel like I'm in the best shape I've ever been in to do a thing like this. So fingers crossed. That's setting yourself up for a fall, isn't it? That really is. I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna do it in two hours. My nutritional plan has been uh, just eat lots. Just eat lots of stuff. That's not the problem with the marathon. That's the, in many ways the easiest bit. You know, I'll just, I'll just have another bit of cake. Yeah, yeah. You know the phrase, slow and steady wins the race? Well, that's not strictly true. So my phrase is, slow and steady will get you to the finish line without collapsing. And that's very much my mantra for the whole thing. It's a really brilliant atmosphere down there. And uh, it's like nothing else. And, you, and that, that moment, that last bit, that last straight um, past Buckingham Palace, down the Mall, you just, you feel like you're a proper athlete for about three minutes. You go, yeah, they're all cheering just for me, I'm going for it. It's a really special day and it, and it all makes sense when you, those horrible early morning runs in January and just after Christmas when you're feeling all fat and all the rest of it. It makes sense when you cross that finish line and you go, we've done it and we've raised a hell of a lot of money.